So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use two conditions when dealing with JSON in Oracle 12C. The first condition I'm going to show you is is JSON. Is JSON is used to determine if an arbitrary string is well-formed JSON or not. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to select from dual and then use the condition in the where clause. I'm not going to use real tables, but if you need me to use real tables, just let me know in the comments and I'll create a video using real tables. But for this example, everything will be from dual. So the first thing I'm going to do is set up the dual query. So if I have something like this, select true from dual where one equals one, I'll get one row back saying true. And if the where condition is false, I'll get nothing. Okay, so I'm going to use the isJSON condition, and I'm going to check if this hard-coded string is JSON. So in this case, it's not because there's nothing in there. If I do key value, this is well-formed JSON, so it should return true, and it does. Now, if I want to check if it's strict, I can do that as well. So if I take away the quotes around key, this is valid in a sense in JavaScript. And if I run it, I get true. But if I say is JSON strict, and then I run it again, I get nothing because the quotes are missing around the key here. So this works for any JSON you could possibly imagine. In practice, this would be a column and a table, but uh, here, just putting the JSON itself in this string is enough, I think, to demonstrate it. So that's it. That's if you want to know if, say, a string is JSON. So if it is, you can process it. And if it isn't, you can skip the processing. So the second condition I want to show you is JSON exists. So I'm going to do the same thing, select true from dual. And then I'm going to have where. But this time I'm going to use the JSON exists function. So JSON exists. It takes two arguments. The first is a JSON object. So let's do key value. And once again, in practice, this would be a database column. And the second argument is a path, a JSON path expression. So I'm going to do key. And if I run this, it's true. Now the reason why you will want to use JSON exists is because sometimes when you're querying JSON objects using what I've shown you in the other videos, you'll find a key that has a null value. And you'll get null in return or you'll get some kind of error. And you want to know if that key actually exists or is it just null. So like for instance, you wouldn't know exactly what the value is, but you want to know if the key exists. Well, sometimes key not having a value and key not existing uh, return the same result and you want to break those two results apart so you would use JSON exists in that case so if I change this to does not exist and I run it nothing returns because does not exist is not a key if I know this out and change this back to key it returns true because the key exists in there. So those are two examples, well a few examples of how to use the two conditions uh, is JSON and JSON exists. So that should make working with JSON a little bit easier and if you've watched my other videos um, you should know enough to get started working with JSON in Oracle 12C. So thanks for watching this video. I probably won't make an Oracle video for a while but if you have any requests, just leave it in the comments and I'll take a look. So, thanks for watching.